Hi there, uh, my name's Alana, and this is my first blog or blog discussing alopecia areata. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it is a hair loss condition that can happen to anyone between the ages of like five to, you know, ninety. It can affect anyone really, and it's um, it's a type of hair loss where white blood cells attack. Um, your hair follicles and basically you lose your hair in, in patches. Um, and why am I talking about it? Well, I was actually diagnosed with it in November 2014, so just a few months ago. Um, and I found out, I was, um, it was the, I remember the day after Halloween, um, I had noticed that there was this weird like patch of baldness and I thought, it was just because my hair was oily, and sometimes when your hair is oily, you can kind of see like up, like partitions in your hair because, and you see the scalp. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll wash my hair, and it's fine. Like it happens all the time. Um, but no, when I came out of the shower, I noticed just a huge chunk of hair was missing, and naturally I freaked out. Um, and if you know me, I'm a serious hypochondriac, and I thought for sure I had some kind of awful disease. Um, so I called my doctor immediately, and she was cool enough to answer, mostly because she heard, I think her assistant heard the panic in my voice, and, uh, she said, don't worry, you probably just have alopecia, and it can be treated. Now, um, I was, I guess, slightly relieved, but it was still just kind of, just a lot to take in. Um, I remember going there, and her looking at it, and then getting back home and noticing um, a second one as you can see um, and it's just it's been really hard I mean you know I have an awesome boyfriend and great family who have been just of great support and they're like yeah we never notice it and it's true like I'm really lucky because I do have thicker hair and I've seen women who don't have my thick hair and um, it's really hard to cover up but um, it's still really hard, and I, I haven't really seen a lot of um, um, blogs, video blogs out there, and as much as, like, the, the written ones are, are helpful, it's nice actually seeing the person. That's why I wanted to do this. It's, it's, just, it's just comforting knowing that there are other women out there who have this problem. I mean... It's just one of those things where, you know, sometimes you can't control, you know, acne or you can't control weight gain sometimes, but your hair just always seems to be like the one thing that you can't control. And then when you lose that, as a woman, it's like you're losing just another part of your femininity. Like, it's hard. It is hard. And I, I'll, I'll, it's always important to not lose perspective. Like, there are worse things that could have happened to me. Like, I could have really had something bad, like, God forbid, cancer, or like, you know, something really awful. I mean, this is just a very cosmetic thing, and, and not to, like, uh, reduce, um, like, what the condition actually does psychologically, because it is hard. It is hard, and I don't want people to think that it's, like, it's nothing. It, it is difficult, I mean, a lot of my family members and a lot of people I talk to about, they're like, well, whatever, it could be worse. But then you're just like, well, you don't really know what it's like. So it's, if you don't have it, it's hard to kind of really sympathize or really empathize. It's difficult. And so that's why I want to start this. I mean, I don't know anyone who has alopecia. Um... And so I kind of want to invite people to comment on it, or if you can share this with someone you know who has it, um, and we can kind of start our own dialogue because it's just so much, it's so helpful seeing, you know, women who are struggling as much as I'm struggling with it. And we can maybe talk about ways to conceal it, or um, if it gets to the point where we need to buy, like, a wig, like, support for that. Like, because I know that buying wigs... Um, that's, that's a, a really big step and hopefully won't get to that point, but, um, you know, it might. And so I guess just having that support group, um, will just benefit everyone. 
it'll benefit me, it'll benefit you, and let's, I guess, just open this dialogue. Um, I would like to talk about ways that I've concealed it um, the past few months. Um, now, I have been getting um, injections, I have been using a steroid cream, and I do, I have noticed that the injections are helping. Like, this used to be just completely bald, and you can see it's growing in a bit. But it is getting a lot wider, like both of them. Like there's growth in the middle, but they're also just getting, like the, the patches are just getting wider. And that's freaking me out. Um, so what I have been doing, um, which my doctor says is okay to do, I've been using um, when I go out or whatever, just to make sure, let's say, um, my hair blows in a certain way. You can see it, obviously. just It's there. Um, so I've been using an aerosol can to kind of cover it up. It's like to cover grays. It's almost like a spray paint. Um, and that's been great, but I have realized that, you know, what am I going to do when I want to go swimming? Or um, how am I going to hide that? Because that's not waterproof. It'll just leak down my neck and you'll see, you know, there's something going on there. So um, I am going to Dominican in a week. And um, my boyfriend and I were looking at ways to conceal it. Like, what can we do? So I'm like, well, you know, there's waterproof eyeliner. There's waterproof mascara. And so we went to just a local drugstore and we got um, a waterproof eyeliner in the jars. That way, not the stick, because that would just take forever. So we got the ones in the little jars. And with a Q-tip, I was able to conceal it really well. And I tested it on my hand first. It is waterproof. Um... The only thing you need to be concerned with is taking it off. You've got to be really gentle because you don't want to lose any more hair in that area, obviously. Um, and so I used, um, I just put shampoo right on it and used, without any water, like my hair is dry, just regular shampoo, and just kind of um, washed it or uh, cleaned it away with a cotton ball with shampoo. And that seemed to get it off really gently. Um... Also, um, in terms of growth, we have also looked into um, this Iranian study where um, there were amazing effects with, or growth with using the steroid cream. And if you do get diagnosed, you'll get the steroid cream and probably injections as well. But every night you use a steroid cream. And I've also been using um, garlic gel, garlic gel tablets. You can get it at any vitamin store or any drugstore. And I just um, kind of pop them, and then I take out the gel, and I apply that with the cream, the steroid cream. And apparently it's supposed to really help hair growth. Will it work? I don't know. I just started this week. Um, but I will um, show updates um, or progress videos, and, you know, I'll let you know. Um, I just want to let everyone know that I'm going through what you're going through, and I know it's hard. But um, it'll be okay. And you know what? If we lose our hair, we lose our hair. It's not the end of the world. I mean, there are wigs out there. There are things that we can do to um, to get through it. And it's only going to make us stronger if it gets to that point. And even this will make us stronger. Even if it's, you just have a couple patches. I mean, oh, what doesn't kill you makes us stronger, right? So, yeah. Please pass this along if you know someone who's going through... Um, through alopecia, I feel like there just isn't enough dialogue, so hopefully this will help you. It's really therapeutic to talk about it like this as well, so I do encourage people to start a, a blog, or even if you don't want to post it anywhere, just, even just doing this is really helpful, um, and I feel better already, so yeah, it was great talking to you. See you soon. Bye.